at the end. But jumping into game number two, West Virginia is going to throw out the Priest, looks to be Dragon Priest, and Rochester Institute of Technology throwing out Secret Paladin. Yeah, they've got uh, Mage and Paladin left, uh, so West Virginia knows what the decks, uh, I mean the classes are. Yeah. Uh, so if they're expecting something like Temple Mage and Secret Valley, Dragon Priest is a, you know, probably a good pick. Uh, mm -hmm. It can contest the early tempo of those decks and also, yeah. you know, stay afloat on health, uh, which is very often what other decks might struggle with. I feel like the, the tools that were given to Dragon decks and TGT really rounded up the deck. Mm -hmm. Alright, not a very strong start for either player, but uh, Blackwing Technician is pretty powerful. Lepernome! Whoa! That's a very aggressive list. Yeah. I haven't seen that in a bit. I'm taken aback by how aggressive it is. Are you? Yeah. I'm offended. Well. Hi. West Virginia, though, Dragon Priest does fantastically against faster decks. As long as they curve out, Half decently. Yeah, there's the problem right now. The curve is. I mean, it's good they got a 3 5. They can kill the juggler and heal it, like, heal the 3 5 up. Um, but they're still not curving out, you know, flawlessly. But with the Holy Nova on 5, Cabal Shadow Priest on 6, I feel like it's going to be pretty tough for the Paladin to stabilize, uh, like, a board. Mm -hmm. Shredder is going to be pretty instrumental to doing so. You know, if uh, the Deirdre Drake hadn't been drawn here, the Twilight Guardian would not be enabled. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, the Paladin would be able to roll all over uh, West Virginia, but not in this case. West Virginia might be confused as to what kind of Paladin this actually is. Normally, right. Secret Paladins do not run Leper Nose. Here's that one drop, if it's taken up by anything, it's taken up by Ardent Squires or um, Secret Keepers, That's things right. that uh, stick a lot easier on the board for cards like Competitive Spirit or Revenge. But, um, I mean, think about it though, like, what value do you get out of, out of Redemption if it's not on a Leper Nose? There's a Heal Bot! Wait! What? Pick one, Lepernome or Healbot. You can't have both. So this is the famed uh, mid-range secret Pala control deck. Yeah. It, it's aggressive from turns one to two. And then it switches it's, gears. It's, it's, like, uh, <laughs> it's, it's control from turns three to yeah. five. And it then it's, yeah. mid, it's secret Paladin from turn six on. I mean... Oh, then turn nine, though, they hit you up with the old Tyrion Redemption. What I like about the deck, though, is that, you know, if you run one Lepernome, one Zombie Chow, you're kind of metagaming against everything. You're both aggressive and defensive. Um, mind blown. Yeah. Competitive I play Mind Spirit. Blast and Priest. Competitive Spirit doesn't really help here, but what it will do is allow them to push seven damage this turn and secure at least some of their board with a low theb. Yeah, I have to wonder, you know, is there a moment where you're not playing Lothab here? I mean, if the Drake trades with the Shredder, you're happy. Uh, if Kabal Shadow Priest still is a 2-2, then you're kind of okay with it. They might feel a little threatened by the four damage they've taken. Yeah. Bring themselves back up to 30 with the heal bot. Can't even believe this. Seems like oh, what is that doing there? <laughs> seems like oh, a good option. This is amazing. I mean, we're discovering a new meta game. Well, the, okay, so... You know, the thing about these, the, this uh, Collegiate Hearthstone Championship <laughs> is the fact that the, the players collaborate on their decks. So maybe they all agreed, hey, we're going to play Paladin. And they said, you take bring 10 cards, you bring 10 cards, you bring 10 cards. That sounds like a genius way to have fun. Bro. Yeah. So one guy brought two Mysterious Challengers and eight secrets. One guy brought, like, double equality, double consecrate, double handy heal bot. <laughs> Where's the Coliseum, though? Yeah. There's only three secrets that were brought out. So uh, it's not a very heavy secret list. Maybe they re just ran one Redemption and one Competitive Spirit, and those have already been played. Or no, one Competitive Spirit. Yeah, and Who I think knows? that one was played from hand, so... Yeah. Well, there's no Light Bomb in the hand of West Virginia, so this hand, this board is going to be really tough to deal with. I think that's just going to be the well, game here. They do have access to Wormrest Agent uh, that they can play. It's going to be a little bit of a taunt, uh, but unfortunately with those sixes, like six sixes on the board, uh, it's going to get a little... I think there's almost no way for them to come back. Well, they can double Shadow Word Death. Right. Nope, that doesn't do anything. They, yeah, they, they can't uh, they can't save themselves with that. No. Maybe I don't think there's any way out. Maybe a Power Shield into Light Bomb. Hmm. That's the only out, I think. I think that's what they have to go for, just based on what I'm looking at here. Um, unless you think War Mistage of Vun's Chosen, is that enough? It has eight health. Uh, it'll tank. Nope, you're still dead to everything. But if they do that, they're dead. They have to hope for the Light Bomb top deck. It has to come right now. It's That's a not Corruptor, it. not what they're looking for. Rochester Institute there. The praying hands have come out. 
And the celebration begins. Ah, there we go. The anti-killbot worked. Celebration begins. Ah, there we go. The anti-killbot worked. 